is something super simple that many people overlook. They think that they need a Mac to create YouTube videos, but Movie Maker is something fine to start out with if this is the only thing you have. So the first thing that we're going to do is go over to the left side, left side where it says File. You're just going to save your project from now. So Save Project. And then under whatever you want to call it, so I'm just going to call it YouTube. And we're going to save that because Window Movie Maker is known to crash anytime not all the time it does to me but like once in a while it will say oh close this program because blah 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 so make sure you save your project and continuously keep on clicking save at the top left corner over here so the first thing that i do is i click here to browse for videos and photos so you can click right here or you can go over to this little panel right here and where it says add videos and photos photos but I do either one so right now I'll just click that I'll bring you to where your videos are and make sure that you take all your videos off of the external device you had it on because if you don't Windows Movie Maker would will after you finish completing your project it'll show like a big X on it saying oh this file cannot find it blah 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 so it's super annoying so we're gonna find we're gonna find and pick the programs programs we're going to pick the videos that we're going to use so we're going to click let's say this one so these three i think they're fine and i'm going to show you how i would go through a simple day of editing video so the first thing i would use is make a little intro for myself so usually i just make a blank screen with my name on it something simple so i go here title and it'll bring you to a black screen and a little caption box so i'm going to change the caption box to my name and if you watch some of my videos you notice that I've done this and I'm gonna change background color because I don't like black and we're gonna put it to something clean like white so we're gonna change the font color as well so we're just gonna go over here click like a pink and you can change the font font style you can also download font styles on the internet and they'll come to movie maker too if you don't like any of them some of the fonts here on movie maker is fine but I downloaded some but before I even downloaded any, I used whatever was on Movie Maker. So I use a font that's cursive-ish. <laughs> so let's just say this one. That's pretty fine. And then with these fonts, it comes with a whole bunch of effects and animations. But I don't really like any of them because they look so tacky. So here are some that I definitely don't use. Um... There's something like that can fade up like that. But I don't use any of these because they look super tacky. This one's not bad, actually. I didn't even see that one. Oh, wow, that's not bad. So most of the time, I just use the one that stands still. So if you see it, press play. And it'll show you a preview. Usually, I keep the intros really short. So by editing the video and the text, you can either double click it and it'll bring you to the panel that it's on. Or you can come up here and it'll show you text tools, video tools and text tools. So you just click it and it'll bring you to what you want to edit. So we're going to edit the video first. And the duration of this little white screen, I'm only going to put it three seconds. I don't really like the intros too long because I want to get straight to the video. And the text tools, you put it with the same length as the video. Or even shorter, it depends how long you want your text on the screen for, right? So I press three seconds as well. And press play. We'll go over it. Yep, yep, yep. Save this. So I'm pretty content with my intro. So this is how I usually do my intro. Something simple, clean, and really pleasing. So next, I mute the sounds on videos that I'm going to be doing voiceovers on. So I'm going to show you how to do voiceovers in a few minutes. So I'm going to go over the sound. Nah, nah, I don't like it. So we're going to go to video tools. You can either double click again or go to the text box go to video tools and right here you can turn down the volume or turn up but so i'll show you how it sounds when i turn it up super louder and then if i want to turn it down which i'm going to do turn it all the way down like that and then you cannot hear anything see perfect and then i'm going to do the same thing again and if you want to highlight everything you hold control and then you click and it'll highlight both and it'll do the same thing for both videos so it'll turn down the volume for both videos so that's turned down that's turned down and over here 
god. <laughs> See, like these little like parts so here. That's the only fresh effects line, and basically, we, I get rid of this like I would not get little horrible parts of me being miserable. So I would just cut it. So I'm going to show you how I cut parts out of the video. So see, I'll cut right there. So we go here, split. Split is the magic little thing. Don't use trim tool start and no, just for even forget that these exist, like the trim tool parts and video stabilizer and do not touch that either. Press split, it'll split the video in half and then I press delete or you can left click and press remove. So we can see if I deleted it. Exfoliated your cleanser that came inside the package and the shine minimizer. Perfect. So that's what we have here. And I'm going to keep the volume up on this one because as well, so we... I'm talking, right? So that's that. And then next I'm going to show you how I do writing on my screen. So usually when I have a part that's blurred out like that, I split it because I'm going to show you how you can do that with your little files. If they're blurred out, blurred out and you want to write, put writing on the text. So I'm just going to split till I get the blurred out part. And ta-da. So that's the blurred out part. I'm going to show you how to put writing over it. So you go back to home, you press caption. Caption is giving you the text box without the little white background that was given right here. So you click caption and it says enter text here. So I'm just going to put April M M T's. So you have that there, get a font right here. So I'm going to use this one and you're going to make the size bigger right here or you can just press the sizing box right here super simple so put that there on top of here and voila and you can change the font as well as i already told you right here put it at gray perfect and that's fine so we're going to try that april empties and i love things going by so fast like this so next, right here, I'm going to show you how you can put writing at the side. And usually I'm just going to cut this, split it. So we're going to split this. And this part we're going to delete. So we go here, remove. I'm going to add, go back to home, go to caption, enter text. So the text here would be face exfoliator. And you can switch this around. You can move the text box to the top here, move it to the bottom, move it to the middle, move it over to this corner. So it's really free as to where you want to put this text box, but I'm going to put it right here for y'all and change the writing, make it bigger a little bit. And then you can space it out like that. Fakes it, you can put it at the bottom, but I'm going to put it right there. Then press play to see how it looks. Voila. And make sure your font is either the same size, as I said before, the same size as your video or how long you um, like shorter. So you can go here, text duration, and you can put, oh, I only want the font for one minute, one second. So one second, but I want it a little bit longer. So we're gonna put it to like four seconds. But in real life, I wouldn't have this little video here for that long in the, in the video. And then right here, I'm gonna show you how I always have my name like my ig name in the top left hand corner so i'm just gonna put my name anisha adams and then we're gonna make this small like this move this to the top and i usually make this font really small see how it looks super big on here but when you go on big screen i'm gonna show you it's too big like see how big that is that is too big and you're just gonna be distracted by it so double click that make the font at 10. see how it looks so small in this preview scheme screen screen but when you go in here, yeah, don't get freaked out by the quality of your video on this little preview screen. It makes it, it shows it like a crappy version, but when it's all, when it's all like loaded and saved to your computer, it's like the quality that's on your camera. At first I was like, wow, why does my quality look so crap on here? No, it's just the quality of Movie Maker. I don't know why, but when it's loaded and stuff, it will show, it will show such a very crisp, clean quality. So this is how, right here, in the top left, there's my name, and it looks super nice. So now I'm going to show you how I do music. So here we're going to go to add music. You can either add music at a current point or just add music overall to the whole entire video. But I usually put at this current point. It's not, there's no really difference if you're adding music from the beginning, if you know what I mean. So we're going to just use this regular instrumental and see how it's 
putting it on its own little line, bar graph, something similar to that. But see how it puts it right here? It doesn't affect the writing or the videos that you have here. So we're just going to play this. So we're just going to cut right here. So we're just going to go to video tools, split the, oh no, we're going to go to music tools, I'm lying, and then split the music. And then there you can tell that this is separate from this. So with this one, we're going to click it, double click it, it'll bring you to the music box, go to music tools, and we're going to leave it at its at its um, music length. And if you want it louder, you can make the music louder, but I like it at this length. Because if you have it too loud, it'll affect the speakers when you're hearing it. It'll sound too like, like all musty and no. So this one, we're gonna turn the music down. So if you watch some of my videos and there's music playing in the background, this is what I do. So I go click this separate music since we split the music and we're gonna turn this one down close to the last, second last, little ticky line here and we're gonna go over to me talking and I'm gonna show you so there you can hear the little music sound in the background this is so cool so that's something simple like that and for the videos that I have narration on I'm gonna show you how to add narration to it so these little videos here I'm gonna add some narration to it so let's say we're gonna add narration so we're just going to go back to home. It says record narration, but there's a little arrow right here. So you click it and it says either record your narration straight from your computer or your external microphone. But now I use something different. I use something external, my iPhone. I can do a video on how I do that, but you just add this sound here, click it, and then you pick your voice over. So it's either like that one or this one. And then see how your narration is a different color, it's brown. So that's how you're going to tell the difference from your music and your narration. So here we're going to try it. Here's a quick tip. So when I apply mixture or water, I don't let any of it touch the barrel. Or so see how it sounds so good. And then you can play with the narration volume if you want it louder, if you want it lower. So simple. And the video looks, I feel like the video looks fine. It looks so fine. And it gives you most stuff that it's the most, it's the same look as some um, iMovie, iMac looks that I give off. And if you want to make your video go faster, like fast forward it, we're going to turn off down the volume because you don't want the sound in it. And you go to speed right here. This will control the video tool because it's in the video spot and you speed it up. So we can do it 2x or we can do it 8x. So this will speed it up. Brush, I make sure that I go in a circular motion. And then this will make... So that will show if you've seen some of my videos how I move, make my videos go super faster. And there's that. And you can do that with anything. Like you can do that with your narration tools. No, you can't mind. So you can only do that with your videos. And that's what, that's my basic go through for my YouTube videos. So simple. There's the caption, the music, the narration, and the videos. You can also, you can also add photos into this as well. You can take pictures of your videos through here, through Snapchat. There's animations I don't use, like uh, transitions. So I'm gonna show you. There's like these. I don't like any of them. <laughs> I should use some actually. They're not too bad. Like these ones. This will be cool narrations. Let's try this one actually. Oh, that's not bad. I always thought they looked tacky. Well, some of them look tacky. So, let's see again. So, yeah, that's all. So, remember to save it. So, when we're going to export this for YouTube, you're going to bring this little ticky all the way to the beginning. Go to File. Go to Save Movie. So not save project, but save movie. And then I click recommended for this project. Whenever I use high definition display, Android, Ford, Apple phone, the quality comes out horrible. So I just press recommended for this project and a movie maker gives you the perfect 
quality and exposure, everything for your video. So you click that and then you're just going to save it wherever you want on your computer. I'm going to save it on desktop and it's going to save. It doesn't take that long, especially that my video is three minutes. It's going to take the three minutes length. So we're just going to wait for that. So as you can see, this little pop up box is going to show and it just says you can play your video file now or open the file that is in blah 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 is done okay so it's either you can open up the folder play and this box is gonna pop up and then the quality so good look at that And then, yeah, super good. So that's that. And that's all for today. You can just upload your video on YouTube when you're done. And the quality is going to come out great. Everything will be fine. And that's all for today. Thank you all for watching.